Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you who are new here, I go by Theo The Truth and on this channel I talk about relevant topics or anything that I might be seeing trending on social media. So recently I had kind of been going down a bit of a rabbit hole um, of looking up stuff or uh, I guess it, things are starting to pop up in my, in my news feed that I never used to see before because of the types of things that I've been looking up and kind of researching on social media. So I've kind of it kind of put me down this rabbit hole of information about like conspiracy theories and you know all of the stuff that's been going on you know as far as like a lot of these companies being exposed and everything and it kind of let let me down a bit of a rabbit hole I guess you could say but I came across this interesting post by this um, woman on TikTok and she had posted a which I'm going to play it for you guys she had posted a, a video about a uh, declassified CIA document that she that she found and um basically the document had said that it was talking about um how your thoughts create your reality and how you can actually heal your body um you know you can actually physically heal your body uh in with your mind so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play that for you what basically she's telling you how to find this information Okay, so you also want to read the declassified CIA document on manifestation, thoughts create your reality, how you can heal yourself with your mind, but it's not really on the CIA website because I'm a liar. Let's go. I'll hold your hand. Go to the CIA.gov website. There are going to be three lines that pop up there. Go to resources. Scroll all the way down until you see the Freedom of Information Act. I think it says electronic reading room, but it's going to say declassified documents right under it. Here it is. Declassified documents. Click visit reading room. Once you're in there, go to the search bar. I found it by typing in the gateway experience, gateway experience. So just type in gateway experience. And once you hit that, it should be the second one that comes up. This one, the analysis and assessment of gateway process. Click into that. You're gonna click this link, which is the PDF. And this is it, 29 pages. You should see these diagrams that pop up. Uh, there's another diagram just so you know you're in the right place. All right. So, of course, I did my due diligence and I went <laughs> to the CIA.gov website and I looked it up for myself. And it is a very long document. It's 20, I think she said, what, 28 or 29 pages. Um, it does go into a lot of different information about the brain, uh, the cerebral cortexes and all of that kind of very scientific stuff. But it goes into some ideologies that probably all of us have been made to believe are just completely far-fetched, uh, like the idea of um, manifest manifestation um, from you know thoughts into the physical realm and things like that, which I found to be very interesting. Um, it, it looks like just kind of skimming over the document. Uh, it looks like the information was classified up until about 2003, I believe. And it had been, you know, released, but obviously not like put out there. Like the, this kind of declassified information, even though it's declassified, it's still not going to just be broadcasted to the public. It's still something that you would actually have to go and you'd have to actually look for it and know how to look for it in order to find it it's not just going to be thrown in front of your face okay um so you know you do have to kind of type in specific keywords in order to find certain information it's not just it's not just blatantly readily available like that i mean honestly this was something that i already knew and i think a lot of people already know that you you really do create your own reality based off of you know, your mentality, how you think, um, how, you know, how you live your life does, you know, obviously creates your reality. Um, I, it does go into some, some really, I, I guess you could say meta, I don't know if metaphysical is the right term to, to, to use, but, um, it does the CIA documents, um, not just this one, I actually kind of looked into some other ones, um, there's actually one that talks about how you can actually uh, heal your body 
uh, specifically, um, I didn't look up specifically like healing diseases or anything, and I'm not going to put anything like that out there because I don't, anything I have not experienced with myself, I'm not going to like make it seem like that's the, like, you can just do this thing. And that's what's seen. You're going to be healed of any sickness that you have. I'm not here to sit up here and do that. I don't want to be responsible for nothing like that, but I'm just sharing information. But what I will tell you guys is that I did see a document that said that you, that there is a, like a numerical sequence that you can, that humans can use that will actually heal their pain. So like, it'll actually eliminate physical pain um, by using this particular numerical sequence. And I'm I'm not quite sure. I, I, I want to share this. I think I may have to do like a separate video for that particular topic, but there was also some other documentation that went into some other stuff that we're supposed to, I guess, believe that is far-fetched and unrealistic, um, which would be like out-of-body experiences, which meaning like actually removing from the shell body, from the actual physical body and leaving the the shell and actually uh, traveling through time and space um, in a nutshell. I mean, it doesn't say it like this, but that's what it's trying to say. So actually removing oneself from the body and actually um, traveling out of body. So, and, we, and I find it interesting that you know, these declassified documents, like these are documents that are now for available on the CIA's website and it's, it is actual public information. So it's not, you know, this is not something I'm making up out of the blue. This is not something that is a secret or it's, it's not supposed to, I mean, I, it probably is supposed to be kind of withheld, but it's not a secret. So you know, it's not like it's not classified information or anything like that. It's just it's just not information that you're just going to hear about on the news like you're, you know. But I mean, honestly, it really just got me thinking about. How a lot of things really do make sense, how a lot of. Different um, things that are displayed, especially on the news, how it seems like the news is always full of negativity. It's always full of things that make you feel scared, all types of things that you really don't even want to hear about. And it just makes you, it makes you feel even more stressed and miserable. And it's kind of a wonder that that, that is a lot of times the narrative in the news is very negative. It's not usually positive. I think that that, that does kind of go into the whole control factor as well because um if if your thoughts actually do create your reality then you would i guess it would make sense that the best way to keep you under some kind of a control would be to create thoughts in your head that were very negative and very and that kept you in a fear in a fear like state so, you know, so anyways, guys, um, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Didn't want to make this video too long. I know we all have a very short attention span these days, but we can talk about it in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Go ahead and do your research for yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. You don't have to take the video's word for it. You can literally do exactly what she said do in the video to find the exact same information and just look at it for yourself. It, it is a long document. It's 28 pages. There's other documentation on the website as well that has the rabbit hole goes very deep I'm just going to say that I'm not going to get too far into it but the rabbit hole goes very deep um but anyways y'all so let me know what y'all think and uh, make sure if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel on YouTube and um I will see you guys next time